2.8.23. We are going to use the definition of derivative to find f prime t, where our function is f of t equals to phi t minus 90 squared. Of course, we need to remember the definition of derivative in terms of a limit. And this is it. f prime of t, by definition, it's the limit when h is approaching to 0, f of t plus h minus f of t on the top, all over h. Let's take a look of our function. f of t is this, right? And we also need to figure out what's f of t plus h. Once again, f of t is phi t minus 90 squared. With this said, f of t plus h, all we need to do is plug in t plus h into all the red t's. That's all. So f of t plus h, the setup will be phi parentheses t plus h. This gets replaced with the original t. Minus 9 parentheses t plus h and then square. Just like again, you replace t plus h with the t. And this is the part that you have to show me your math algebra skills. Let's do it. Phi times t is just phi t. Phi times h is plus phi h. And let's keep the minus 9 first. Open the parentheses. t plus h square is t square plus 2th plus h square, like that. And then I would, well, the first part is the same, phi t plus phi h. But I will distribute the negative 9 into the parentheses here. I will have negative 9 t squared, negative 9 times that is minus 18 th. And negative 9 times h squared is negative 9 h squared. And take a look of what we have. Unfortunately, there's nothing that we can do to combine terms. So this is it. This long expression will be for the f of t plus h. And now we'll go back to our definition of derivative. And I'll just leave some gap, all right? And I'll write down, here's the limit when h is approaching 0. Big fraction bar. For the first part, f of t plus h, it's going to be all this. So let me just copy this down. So phi t plus phi h minus 9t squared minus 18th minus 9h squared. Once again, this whole, whole thing right here is for the f of t plus h. And you are going to minus, because the formula tells us to minus, right? f of t, which is that. So I will have to put parentheses 5t minus 9t squared, right? All over h. This right here is f of t, and this right here is f of t plus h. And now I will have to distribute the negative into the parentheses. I will do that. That will give us negative 5t plus 9t squared. All right, let's see if there's anything that we can do on the top to shorten expressions. 5t and negative 5t can be canceled. Likewise, the negative 9t squared and the positive 9t squared can also be cancelled. That's pretty much it. And you see that we have 5h minus 18th minus 9h squared. They all have an h, so let's factor out an h. So here I will have 5 and I will have negative 18t, the h is out already, minus 9 and I have just 1h to the first power like that left. And if you do it this way, you can cancel this h and that h together. Then we see that the whole thing is just actually 5 minus 18t minus 9h. That's it. There's not even a denominator left. Now we just need to plug in 0 into h, and that's what we get. So I have 5 minus 18t minus 9, and now the h is equal to 0, so I have to just you know, plug in the 0 into the parentheses. But of course, negative 9 times 0 is just 0. So altogether, our answer f prime of t is 5 minus 18t by using the definition of derivative. This is it.